I'm Rob Schmidt here with your Fox News update on Facebook Watch. Evacuation orders have been lifted after a wildfire closed in on multi-million dollar homes in the Pacific Palisades in Southern California near LA. Take a look at this. People had to run for their lives as that raging fire raced toward these ocean view homes, very expensive homes in the LA area. More than 300 firefighters tackling that blaze, saving at least six houses. At least two people were hurt. Uh, big time stars like Sophia Ritchie, Lionel's daughter, sharing photos from the area that uh, is home to celebrities like others, uh, Reese Witherspoon and Matt Damon. Uh, a close call there. Firefighters did some quick work. All right, many in the South left picking up the pieces after deadly storms left widespread damage. Take a look at uh, this bird's eye view from Dallas where an EF3 tornado touched down. A tremendous amount of damage you can see there. The National Weather Service confirming wind speeds topped 140 miles per hour. Three different schools were wiped out by the storm and won't be able to open for at least the rest of this school year. Four people were killed during the storms uh, when they moved over and hit Arkansas and also Oklahoma. Three Army soldiers killed in a training exercise, including an 18-year veteran and two young infantrymen, an emotional Army general holding back tears while identifying those men. It is um, hard enough when you lose one soldier, but when you lose three at one time, that pain is amplified. Those men, Corporal Thomas Walker of Ohio, Sergeant First Class Brian Jenkins of Florida, and Private First Class Antonio Garcia of Arizona. The soldiers were killed when their Bradley fighting vehicle, just like the one you see here, went off a bridge and flipped over in the water at Fort Stewart in Georgia. Three other soldiers are recovering from injuries from that crash. A memorial service will be held in their honor at a later date. All right, politics now. The president urging the DOJ to get to the bottom of the Steele dossier once and for all. The president calling on Attorney General Bill Barr to look into Ukraine's potential involvement in producing that document. You hear about Ukraine, and you've been hearing about it. I heard Clinton was involved. I heard they got somebody who wrote the fake dossier. Was it out of, Korea, out of Ukraine? All of the things that happened. And I assume that the attorney general, I would like the attorney general to find out what's going on because you know what we're investigating corruption all right this is how Dem house democrats block to vote a uh, block a vote to censure congressman adam schiff over his handling of the impeachment inquiry schiff tweeting after the vote it will be said of house republicans when they found they lacked the courage to confront the most dangerous and unethical president in american history they consoled themselves by attacking those who did an unlikely duo teaming up to defend tulsi gabbard the president and Bernie Sanders, both coming to the Congresswoman's defense after Hillary Clinton accused her of being a Russian asset. This was all a phony scam. And then you have Hillary Clinton saying two days ago, Chelsea, Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset. And that Jill Stein is a Russian agent. And I said, wait a minute. It took me two and a half years. I wish you would have said that earlier because people would have realized she's crazy. She's crazy. Senator Sanders tweeting, Tulsi Gabbard has put her life on the line to defend this country. People can disagree on issues, but it is outrageous for anyone to suggest that Tulsi is a foreign asset. Gabbard says she's open to a face-to-face -face meeting with Hillary Clinton. We'll certainly keep you posted on that. The end of the road may be near for Julian Castro, the Democrat presidential candidate, tweeting in part, this is a critical moment in my campaign. If my campaign can't raise $800,000 by October 31, my campaign will be silenced for good. Castro has struggled with fundraising since he jumped into this race 10 months ago. And parents, you probably should put down your phones. A new survey shows that on average, parents barely spend more time with their kids than they do on their cell phones. <laughs> The Genius of Play surveyed 2,000 parents of children ages 5 to 18 and found adults spent on average only 24 minute, more minutes with their kids than they do looking at their phone screen. The survey also finding 69% of surveyed parents feel addicted to their mobile devices like everybody else in the world. Also finding 69% of surveyed social media saying parents should uh, set limitations on their own screen time. One Instagram user says everyone should make screen time rules for themselves. After we ask this question, Helen on Facebook says she is addicted, writing, uh, yep, I will be the first to admit, but I have good reason. There you have it. A miraculous rescue caught on camera. Watch as police officers perform CPR 
saving a little boy who's choking on a cracker. His just horrified mother sobbing in the background. There's a lot of connections that can't be explained except for, you know, God is, God is real and he's good all the time. Well, this kid stopped breathing for 10 minutes, but officers were able to revive him. Call that a miracle. Those are your top headlines. I'm Rob Schmidt with your Fox News update on Facebook Watch.